So we have our body set up to be the container um, for all of our content. And we also have our header set up with a uh, very basic layout, just uh, two columns um, you know, for the logo and the nav. And what I want to do now is just, just add some CSS to the uh, background. So we'll add a background color. And um, I don't know. Actually, why don't I do that here? And I'll make it a blue, the logo area. And then, um, I don't know, we'll go red for the nav area. And it's just for visual, um, you know, visual purposes. It's, um, you can make it whatever color you want. Uh, all I'm doing it for is so that we can see our layout uh, in effect. I'll go ahead and change this color. I want the color to be white. And for the links, um, I want them to be the same. Go ahead and save that. There we go. All right, so let's start with our next section, which is going to be sort of our, um, I guess, main content area. And I'll put uh, a div with a class of site. Why did I do that? A div with a class of site dash content. And inside that, I'll have another one called, uh, I don't know, featured. It'll be my featured content. And I'll put an H1 in there. And I'll put that old. Uh, title I had before. Advanced Bootstrap Tutorials with SAS. There. And then just some some lower maps on you know, some dummy text. P there we go. I'll just add another one. Just to take up some space. And I'll save that and I'm going to come over here to my SCSS file and I'm going to do the same thing that I did for my header. I'm going to give the content a row mix in and all that styles. And then uh, for the featured section, I'll just have one large content area. Well, site dash content. And I'm just going to copy this and we'll make it a row. And then for the featured content, I'm going to copy this one and make it 12. When I save it, come back over here, see that I got all of my content in there. And it should still be responsive. If not, you're probably not using the... Uh, this block right here. Um, let's add another section. We'll add the widget area. And I'm going to have a div with the class of site dash uh, widgets. And um, each of those is going to have a section and a class of widget. And then uh, go ahead and hit tab. There we go. And I want three widgets. I'll just copy that. I'm gonna bring this over here. And for each of these widgets, I want an H2. Just like that. And I'll make this, I'll just do that. There we go. And in here, I'll just put some random latest news. I'm not going to make this dynamic, but, you know, just to have something to look at other than dummy text. And then uh, social media. And I'll save that. Now come back over here to my SCSS file 
And again, I'm going to make the uh, site widgets a row. I'll just copy this, paste it, and then for each widget, I'm going to make four columns. I'll save it. And there we go. Everything's still staying in place, doing what I want it to do. Uh, let's add a little more content in here. Uh, test that out times five. And then I'll just put one, two, three, four, five. And um, I'll just copy this, put it in here as well. I'll just change this one to an ordered list and then um, this one will stay the same. So I'll save that, switch back. There we go. Our layout starting to come along. Uh, finally, we'll just add a footer section. So I'm going to come below this div right here, our widgets div. And I'll open up a footer tag and I'll give it a class of site dash footer. And um, normally your footer has site information, so I'll just put a site info. And within that, I'll take this time to mention my YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash easy dev tubes. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should go ahead and do so. Also, don't forget to like this video. Tell your friends about it, whatever. Or not, I don't care. And okay, I'm going to save that. And over here in the SCSS, I am going to do the same thing I've been doing with every other section. I'm going to copy this make row mix in. Paste it there. And then for the site info, I'm going to copy this small column and paste it there. And for now, we'll just go and check. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's good. As I said, I was going to mention a uh, new mix in, and that mix in is going to be one of our offset uh, mix ins. And to use that, we're going to go with make dash small dash column but we're gonna add offset to the end and I want to offset it for four columns and then um, oops save it and when I refresh my browser this should move over to the center and it does uh, all while remaining responsive 